Several things can go wrong in your brain when you are depressed. It could be an endocrine problem. It could be um, a problem in your thyroid, in your pituitary gland, um, or in that endocrine system. Some people who suffer from depression also have a problem in their limbic system, where the, the brain's emotional center is, where the amygdala is, the hypothalamus, the thalamus, uh, prefrontal cortex, a problem in that system. Depressives also have a shortage of neurotransmitters, the guys that text message the neurons and send messages back and forth to each other, like you know high school kids do today. Norepinephrine, uh, dopamine, serotonin, these are all neurotransmitters that um, are in deficiency when people are depressed. I like to think of the brain in terms of magnetic building blocks because they're around my house. A normal brain looks like this. It has plenty of these circular magnetic fields here that help the brain to adjust to new thinking, to new situations as the day goes on. For example, if a person gets an upsetting call from their mom or a gripe from their colleague, it processes that, but then the neurotransmitter allows them to let go of it and to move in a new direction to go on with their day. Whereas my brain <laughs> is missing a few of these circular pieces, circular magnets or the neurotransmitters that makes me get caught in my thinking. He hates me, 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 he hates me after I get the letter from the colleague. Instead of processing it like the normal brain and then moving on. I like thinking of my brain that way, as seeing a model of a normal brain and what a brain of a depressed person looks like, because it allows me to be a bit more forgiving and more loving with myself on those days that I can't turn it around, on those days that I employ every possible cognitive behavioral therapy and I still get stuck. I just need to remember that I'm missing a few of those round circles.